All right, so today's product focus, there's not much to focus on here. It's more of a product highlight, if you will, are the Milwaukee boots. And I've had a real tough time keeping up with these because Milwaukee does turn over products all the time. So I'm not going to get specific on model numbers uh, because uh, these things change every time they change a tool, which is sometimes once a quarter. Uh, so I'm more going to talk in generalities here and rather than rather than get into specifics. But I find that um, the tools that they make the boots for, uh, I will give Milwaukee a lot of credit, makes a lot of sense. Uh, so it makes a lot of sense on, a, on an extended reach ratchet to have a rubber boot, and especially if you're, you're working in your car or around your car, around painted surfaces. Uh, and also it helps keep the, you know, helps keep the tool look nicer. But you know, I have a tendency to not like these kind of things. It's kind of like putting a cover on your cell phone that you remove the cover when you get rid of the cell phone, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? So I'm protecting something that I'm never gonna see. It's like putting plastic on your couch. Uh, I think it's a little different with these boots because they really do have a practical uh, protective purpose. The other thing I find that's really nice about them uh, is just laying down. So if I'm throwing it on the bench, uh, if I'm throwing it on my stainless countertop or a wooden top, or if I'm throwing it in my uh, in my drawer, uh, having the boot is nice. That I don't have to. I don't feel like I have to kind of place the object. I feel like I can speed up my process a little bit by by that. I will tell you, be prepared, uh, especially on uh, say the boots for like the half inch, you know, the half inch lower speed uh, um, uh, ratchet here. Um, your fingers are going to be a little bloody getting this on, but once, you only got to get it on once. Uh, so you really do have to work for it, get it past the anvil, pull it back. Uh, you'll find that you know, you'll, you'll be gripping it from different angles to get it on. Once you get it on, it stays on. Uh, so a, a, a key point of distinction here, these are not something you're just going to put on and take off, especially on the ratcheting wrenches. Once it's on, staying on you're going to want to you know you're going to have a difficult time pulling it off you're going to end up cutting it off if you wanted to take it off for some reason so i am not a, a, a big proponent of thinking of these as a as a, as a, an object that you can put on and take off really easily now some of them like the die grinder here is a little bit more simple to remove and you can see you know basically the the, the boot is a uh, relatively dense uh, rubberized or i guess rubber material that um, affords you the ability to you know, protect your tool. I think it's less about the tool protection and more about the protection of the object that you're working on, especially if you're working on a vehicle. And you'll find that pretty much all of the boots they make are for the, uh, the mechanics or the, the, the vehicle um, you know, when you're working, on your, working on your car or truck. So they make them for impacts, they make them for stubbies, they make them for ratcheting wrenches. Make sure to check it out on the website. Uh, we will have it in the, if they, if they have one for a product, um, we'll have it in the drop down of that product. So uh, if, you, if you ever needed one and you weren't sure uh, if the tool had it, it'll be an add-on accessory to all of our stuff on obsessgarage.com. So those are the boots. I like them. Um, I think you have to think about them properly, uh, and uh, they're, they're there to really protect the surface uh, that you're going to be you know, working on uh, more so than the actual tool. But it is a nice touch, and I do think they, they look kind of cool. So check it out in the store. Thanks for your support.